but I grabbed the next one and it's, I think, a bolo also, but this one is a little bit confusing. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, I thought about going live and then I decided not to. Um, I don't do a lot of live shows on this channel. I was thinking about doing a list with me because I'm just listing some plush, kind of taking it easy today. And I'm thinking now I probably should have went live because I just dropped a video on a plush that is a Bolo that I didn't know about. So go watch that one. But I grabbed the next one and it's, I think a bolo also, but this one is a little bit confusing because there's high solds and there's low solds. And we're gonna talk about that. But first, I wanna show you this little cutie. Oh, any cutie's a frog. Now, have you guys seen my jelly cat video? There is a jelly cat frog that goes for like $800. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go watch it. Um, just search Bolo Buddies jelly cat and it will pull right up. There is also another one I think called Fergus the Frog that does pretty well. This is neither of those. This is just a plush frog. Now, it is by, hold on, Animal Adventure. And it is from 2014. So this is a retired, discontinued plush. I believe he's probably 18 inches. He's pretty big. Um, he is really, really cute. I mean, just look at that smile. He just makes you want to smile, right? I mean, look at him. Just look at him. Okay, so this is going to be available on my eBay store, but here's the deal. I want to take you over to eBay, and I want to show you some solds because, again, I went to high solds, and I have not looked up to verify any of them. We're going to do a little bit of that and see if we can make maybe verify something, I don't know if this is a big money bolo or if this is a bread and butter, but we're gonna research it together right now. I'm gonna show you how, okay? Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm over on eBay and I put in Animal Adventure Frog Plush, all right? And this popped up and I'm like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Now this one is 2016, this one is 2014, but you can see um, they look almost identical. Um, one says 16 inches, one says 18, but that could just be a difference in how somebody's measuring the item. Let's go down and you're going to see there's some other animal adventure frogs that are different. So these are not relevant, but definitely, you know, something you could think about. Now looky here, Target, Sweet Sprouts, 2014 Green Frog, Animal Adventure. That one has the original tag on it and only sold for $30. So what happened here? And look at the next one, $30, striked through. They took a best offer. What happened here? Did the person undersell it? Did they not do their research? Or did these up here really not sell for that much? All right, let's go in. And one other tip that I can give you guys, I do sell similar. I will pick a listing that has a high sold price to build my title off of. This one looks like it says um, free shipping, and this one does not have free shipping. So let's go ahead into here, and we're going to go right here to the feedback. And I usually have all this done for you guys, but we're just doing this together. This is just going to be kind of a, I'm doing research, I'm listing right now, and I put in frog, uh oh, 134.95. This isn't the one I'm looking for, but I do want to see what this guy looks like because, and a lot of times I do this, you know, if I see feedback and it's a high sold and it's a plush, I'll go in and look at it because I want to know what to look for. So this is a Splash Mountain Breer, B-R-E-R -E frog. Never heard of that. Disneyland. So anything, you know, Walt Disneyland, Walt Disney World, you definitely want to look those up. I think we all know that. Um, so we got to type in frog again. We'll see if we can verify this with feedback. Another thing we can do is look somewhere else. Um, let's put adventure in the title too to narrow it down. Looks like this person sells a lot of frogs. Sells a lot of frogs. 
Oh my goodness, I can't spell. Venture. Did I spell it right that time? Okay, so there's no feedback. So the next thing you can do is you can go up to um, items for sale. And this is gonna take you into their store and you can type in frog. And again, it's they're probably gonna have like 1 million. Oh no, but only, 60, only 62 frogs in their store. So let's do adventure. And if it's listed again, that means that they probably did not get payment. Okay, so they've got some frogs that are animal adventure, but it is not the same frog. So you can see there's some different variations of this frog. So because it's not relisted, and I'm assuming this seller relists everything that doesn't get paid for, I'm going to assume that this item did sell. Okay, so let's go over to this one and see if we can verify it. Is this the one I just did? Um, let me see, I don't think it is. Let's type in frog adventure. All right, no feedback. Oh my goodness, is this the one I did, just did? I did, this might be the one I just did. Sorry guys, let's try this again. Told you I wasn't planning on doing this. Okay, this might be the one we didn't check. Closet full of sunshine, okay, this is the one. Okay, let's type in frog. They have a smaller store, so probably gonna be less frogs. Okay, items for sale. Let's type in frog and see if it's relisted. Frog. And they have three frogs and none of them are the animal adventure. So that tells me that these items sold for those prices, okay? March 13th and March 13th. Oh, wow, they both sold on the same day. That's kind of random. But let's go down here and look at these two, February 8th and January 27th. And let's see if there's any more. Here's $19.99. So I'm guessing these were just underpriced. After this, I'm gonna head over and we are gonna look at active listings. Here's another one that went for 15 or best offer. Oh my goodness, you know what I'm gonna do, right? Put down in the comments what you think I'm gonna price this frog at. Okay, let's look at the active listings. Okay, you guys, so this is showing you how, when you're researching, how to know how to price your item. And everybody does this a little bit differently. Um, I have a tendency to go with the high solds. That's just what I do. So I'm looking at active listings. And it's a little tricky because there are a lot of animal adventure frogs, so we are just gonna have to scroll. But right off the bat, you see one listed for $74.99 plus shipping that is exactly like mine. And we're gonna scroll through these and see if we can find some additional ones that are similar. Now, they are putting rare in the title. Um, we're gonna see how many I find that are active that are like mine. Does When do you guys use the word rare? I know people have different opinions about whether or not an item is rare or hard to find. I typically use HTF, which stands for hard to find, but um, there are some cases where I will use rare. I'm not seeing any others like this guy listed, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I am looking forward to seeing what you guys thought I was going to list this at. Is that one right there? That says small plush, so that might be a smaller one, but it says 2014. Um, what do they have that listed at? 19.99, huh. It may be a different size. I'm not gonna go in and check, but we're just looking for ones that are the same as mine. And sometimes, I mean, somebody may consider that a small plush. I think that's more considered a medium plush. eBay gives you the measurements for each size. So it's really easy to just fill in that item specific. That one, uh, that one's not the same. So yeah, it looks like only one is listed and it is listed in the $75 range. So that person did their research. All right, so I am gonna list mine. I have a 35% off sale going on right now. So I will list it high enough that it will take it down to the 75 
$80 range and then I will put best offer on it. And we'll just see what happens. But yeah, it's definitely a hard to find plush. Can you believe it? Two in a row, two in a row. Go watch the video I posted right before this. And um, I hope this helps you when you're searching comps uh, because it is really, really important to take into all factors, um, not just what the highest selling is, but what the other items are selling for and how many active listings there are that match yours. Because if there's not a lot, then um, you can definitely get that higher price. You just have to price it right. That one is different. You see it has a nose. Mine doesn't have a nose. All right, let's look one more place. All right, guys, I am over here on Worth Point, okay? So I could have just went straight here, but um, checking eBay is always important. So in 23, this is the one we saw, and these are pro these first two are probably the first two we saw on eBay because they are the most relevant. Um, 21, I mean, they have definitely gone up in value. And this is where knowing your market and if there's not a lot available, pricing your item on the higher end. Because this was a $35 plush, but because the two people at the top that sold it for the higher prices, they have now set the market for this item in the $70 to $80 range because they recognize that it's a hard to find item. And some of these comps are like from 2018, 2016. So this came out in 2014. So it wasn't as old or as retired. Um, it's been longer now and there's less available because people, you know, they don't always resell their plush. They just get rid of it and a reseller like me buys it. So anyway, I'm definitely gonna go with the higher price because there's only one listed and it's in that price range and the two most recent solds are in the 70 to $80 range. I hope you found this video helpful. Worth Point is amazing. It is expensive, you guys. It is not for everyone. You can um, use eBay solds and most of the time find what you need, but I'm telling you, Worth Point has made me a lot of extra money because it has helped me research. So in this case, did it really help me research? No, not really because I had what I needed from eBay, but I did wanna give you guys a little tutorial, let's say, of what you would see over on Worth Point and it does go back further. And what this showed me is, this is an item that is increasing in value over time, the older it gets, the harder it gets to find. Let me know if you think this video was helpful. Thank you so much for being here. If you're interested in getting Worth Point, there is a link down below, my referral link. You can click on that and it'll take you over. It'll show you all of the pricing. Um, I just have the comparables looking up comps. I don't have the marks. Um, I think marks is where you can look at um, like pottery and jewelry and stuff like that to help you identify marks. I think think I've asked that question before and many of you have agreed that that is what it's for and that you find it useful. I don't have that. Um, I don't do tons and tons of uh, breakables and jewelry. I can usually figure it out with Google Lens, but not all the time. So uh, if you do a lot of that stuff, it may be a good idea to get that one. I don't know. If you guys have feedback about that um, for Worth Point, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so I thought I would just go ahead and show you this jelly cat. Jelly cat is Fergus the frog. I forget what the other frog's name is. Um, but look at this. Just crazy. Cajun, um, the Cajun reseller sold one of these for big money. I don't know. I think his was too long ago. But go check out my Jelly Cat video for other big money um, bolos in the Jelly Cat category. But this right here is the one that you were looking for. Fergus the Frog by Jelly Cat. Just incredible and crazy, crazy money there. Okay, you guys, I found it over here on Mercari. Um, so Fergus the Frog, he also goes for crazy money on Mercari. And I will tell you guys that Mercari is a great place to sell plush. If you're not selling plush, definitely consider Mercari. I do have a referral link down below. You'll get $10 to shop when you join with that link. And once you sell another $100 on Mercari, they're going to give you another $20 coupon to shop. So that referral link's down below if you want to check it out. 
but this is the one. It's Portland plush and it's Frankie. So Frankie is another big money bolo. Um, somebody has Fergus the Frog inspired. I do not recommend that you do that, especially on eBay. That can get your account in trouble. Um, look at this. Look how they have him posed. That is awesome. I love it. But yeah, definitely look out for Jelly Cat Fergus the Frog and the Portland Plush Frankie. You can see right here, this one, they've got Portland Plush Frankie in the title. Sold for 200 These sold for 150 and they were trying to use the Fergus the Frog inspired. So it's still sold for a lot of money, even using the real name of the item. And that is what you should do. Um, all right, you guys, thanks for watching.